What's up YouTube? Welcome to today's episode. My name is Matt and today, I thought I saw a deer, and today we are setting cameras. My goal for today is to get two farms done. Looks like a boot track. My goal today is to get two farms done and today we are on a property that I have by permission um, in exchange for a couple days worth of work. So that is a great opportunity to pick up property. Um, a lot of guys will knock on doors and just be like, hey, can I hunt your property? Once they're said, once the landowner says no, they walk away, they don't say anything. They just say, oh well, you know, it's too hard to get permission. But here's a little pro tip, offer up work. Obviously we are willing to do just about anything to get, per to get permission nowadays because it's so hard. And um, if you got a chainsaw, if you've got a pickup truck, four wheeler, whatever, you can clean up. You can clean up debris, you can, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of times um, the people that own the property that we're seeking are older, it's an older generation, right? So a lot of times they are not capable of doing a lot of things that they used to be able to do. So offer up, hey, say, hey, I can cut down that tree or hey, I can do this or that. And um, it may give you permission like it did for me on this property. So I just walked the whole property, um, his yard part, not the woods. And uh, got an idea of what I need to bring, chainsaws, four-wheeler, a trailer to get a lot of wood out. But right now, let's get into the good part. We're going to be setting cameras and we're going to be looking for sign. And uh, sign just like this over my shoulder if I can get her. Right there is a good deer trail. Shoop. And uh, we got 12 cameras with us, plus a couple non-cells. We're going to get to work. Let's do it. As you can see, there's a giant freshly planted bean field over my shoulder. And this is what we're hanging cameras on. We're going to get inventory. So what's the best way to get inventory in the summer? Over beans. Oh, my. I just realized there's a bunch of ants on this tree. Whew, I hope they don't bother my camera. But now that we tore down that bush, I gave her what for. We're going to hang this trusty wise eye. Oh, dumb pants. I forgot my saw. So, it's the only thing I had in my pocket. <laughs> Maybe in trouble. The only disadvantage to locking all of your cameras, very difficult to pack. So the plan is we're going to be scouring. I have this big bean field to hunt basically and woods and then all that back there that goes to the road. Very narrow, but I have this bean field to hunt. So we're going to be scouring cameras all around. I mean, it's summertime, people. It's time to put it on ag. Come season, most of these cameras will probably be taken down and moved into some, some better core areas, but for right now, I just want to get inventory, and that's what we're going to do. One camera up. Number two. I like this spot a lot because that finger that's over my shoulder, there was a really, really good buck using it last year, early season. And I didn't have a cell camera in there. I just had a regular SD card. So I'm gonna use history from, from that camera and I'm gonna put like a perimeter kind of around this and see if I can get him either going in or out. I'm gonna really try to use utilize some cameras in that area. I know. I know where he was going in and I kind of know where he was coming from so I want to put another camera um, down the tree line and uh, hopefully we can get on him. Probably He's probably not going to show up till mid-September I would assume but at least I'm getting everything ready for him. I'm prepping and then you know come mid-October uh, hopefully or early October I can kill him.
when you don't have a shovel, but you've, you've got your stick with you, you make it work. Mock scrape, vine, I tied it with another vine, an old strap that was laying over in there. So it's got moss and everything on it, so it won't take long for them to get used to that smell. Hopefully, I had a scrape over here last year um, that they hit quite a bit, so I wanted to add to it this year. I wish this would bend out towards me, but it'll work. I think that'll work good. Now, time to put the old secret sauce in. All right, so now we're just gonna put a little bit of ranch butter on it. Never tried it before. I'm not one that normally makes mock scrapes, but a lot of guys have success with them. So I'm gonna really try this summer and early fall to see if I can figure out what works. I've got a grapevine, which a lot of guys say that deer like. I've got it a little bit lower than shoulder height. Um, and I'm gonna put a little bit of, put a little ranch butter on it. I don't know, never tried it. Like I said, it's a learning experience. I'm gonna try to get a lot more efficient with mock scrapes this year. I would love to get to the point where I could make a mock scrape and locate the majority of the bucks in the area without you know running like a mineral site or something like that. So that's the goal and that's the future plans, to figure out how to make mock scrapes work. Amazon for the win. That little camera right there is it's like 30 some dollars when it goes on sale on Amazon and it is pretty quality to be honest. Um I ran it a little bit. I got it on like a Black Friday Christmas kind of deal last year on Amazon and I ran it um a little bit late season. I finally had time to get one out. I um, really liked it so I bought two more and I'm going to utilize them this year in some burner spots. $40 camera. I still lock them because for me 40 bucks is i mean that 40 bucks is 40 bucks so i can spend you know five bucks on a lock and a couple bucks on some snare cable and then you know he may steal the sd card but you're not going to steal my 40 dollar camera so that baby's going to be running it's got audio it's got three sensors which is kind of cool like two two on the side and one in the middle it's kind of cool um yeah so hopefully we uh, hopefully we don't get just a bunch of videos of stuff moving, but we'll find out. So here's what we're looking for right here for a subtle. So I think I've never ran a camera down here. There's a little ditch crossing. Um, I can't if you guys can tell. There's a ditch right here. Um, it's actually pretty deep. It's probably waist deep. If I were to jump down in the bottom. A lot of deer tracks coming to and from here. Here's the crossing. Um, I've actually never ran a camera here. I've always kind of ran it up a little bit farther. I'm not sure why because there's a ton of sign right here. And uh, I mean, look at this. This right here is, I mean, if you can't follow that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a camera on video mode. And what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go over on that tree Right there, the big one, yeah, right there. I'm gonna go on that big one and uh, I'm gonna face it my way on video mode. That way, the reason why I've always gone up is because I thought I'd get that big one um, kind of not using the main trail, but I never did. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see what happens. Problem is I'm a little bit worried about this grass. I might try to go a stick up, break some branches. And um, I know I haven't been hanging my cameras very high, but like I said, most of it's all over ag, and the one camera is like shoulder height at the scrape. But what are you gonna do? You put it right in front of the scrape. It's either gonna work or it's not. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna knock some of. The, I'm gonna break this vine down, the scrape vine. And then I'm gonna get a stick up, put the camera right there, video mode. Hopefully, we can get some cool stuff. Last camera on this side of the farm. There's a nice little draw right here that you can't see from the road, from, I mean, literally anywhere. You can't see anything 
nice little bean patch right here. Hopefully we get some bachelors figure out what's in the area. All right, what's up? Made it to the second farm. We've got this river bottom. As everybody knows, I love hunting river bottoms. And last year I scouted this. I picked it up, oh, late season, like January time frame, which is a great time to get permission because everybody's done hunting and you can ask for maybe a little late season bow. Even if it's only a month, I actually didn't even hunt this. I just got permission because I knew it would be good in the fall, hoping that I could get it again. And, oh boy. Go ahead, Maddie. you can hunt. So last year, I had a camera on this scrape. I was already bucked out. I wanted to see what was on the farm, so I ran a couple cameras over here. And one decent contender. Um, he was borderline last year, probably not a shooter, but really excited to see what he looks like this year. And he was working this scrape. Um, the scrape's still there. It's hard to tell, but um, I, I marked it on Onyx, and we're going to put a camera up here on video mode. Um, the Wise Eye Minis have a new feature where you can run them on video mode. Um, and this, another thing that I wanted to point out, this licking branch, it's not like super tore up um, where it looks like it, it was worked aggressively. So, but you're limited when you're hunting private land, you're limited to what you have. It's not like I can, you know, I guarantee you I can find a better scrape somewhere, but I don't have access to it. So this is the best scrape that I have access to from last year's scouting. This year, hey, it might get a little different. We'll see. I'm never going to say that, you know, I'm only going to hunt this spot. You know, wherever the deer tell me I'm going to hunt. Wherever the deer tell me where to hunt, I will hunt. That's a tongue twister. So, I'm going to set this camera. I'm running out of daylight, so it's like 6.30. And i got to get home for dinner. Or the wifey will be mad. So, um, it's going to be a speed kind of scout. I'm going to hang some cameras. I'm going to hang some cameras on some field edges. There's this spot and one other spot that I really want to get to. Other than that, I don't really have a lot of pins just because there was no crops last year and they weren't they, they weren't using it. So I'm hoping with crops just starting to come in, there's going to be a lot of deer using this farm. That's where the camera's going. All right, YouTube, that's going to wrap up today's video. I got that camera hung and I'm running out of battery. I'm running out of daylight and I'm running out of time. So... I'm not going to have time to film the rest of the cameras, but we made a mock scrape. We put some branch butter on it, and we're going to wait. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this motivates you as well to get out in the woods and scout, put cameras out, use your time wisely. I had a free day, and I capitalized. We'll see you later.